While character matchups are usually based on opinion, many Thalsum players express that Kami is among his hardest matchups. The combination of her fast walk speed, quick dive kick, and her anti-fireball tools, it can be difficult for Thalsum to play his normal game plan. So how do we overcome these obstacles to stand a chance? Today I'll be giving you some tips on how to defeat Kami with the Yoga Man himself so that you can take your sim to the next level. Thalsum wins. Because Kami is a fast character, we must match her speed in the neutral. Be active. Make it difficult for her to know what your next action will be. Flow is strong versus Kami as jump medium punch and medium kick are low commitment moves to control your space and jump heavy kick is useful for covering the airspace. Be aware that many of Kami's tools such as spin knuckle, drive impact and cannon spike are strong versus float so you must mix up your descents with whiff jump light punches to fall faster and draw off her timing. This is a matchup where rushdown is preferred over keep away, so it's ideal to change your combos to end close to her, such as EX Yoga Flame into Sweep, or Yoga Blast into Teleport. For ground neutral, Crouch Medium Punch is useful for preemptively stuffing Spin Knuckle, and Stand Heavy Kick from afar to potentially stop any dive kick attempts. It's not recommended to throw a fireball at Kami since she can easily react with Spin Knuckle. So try to stick to Yoga Fires from 3 fourths to full screen range to avoid punishment. When she gets close, never attempt to anti air Kami, as Dive Kick is too quick and will most likely stuff your normal. Preemptive anti airs are possible if you're being predictable, but will leave you wide open if you're wrong. Instead, try doing perfect parry when you see her jump. A successful perfect parry on dive kick will give you a punish. A normal parry may still grant you a turn depending on the height the dive kick was blocked, and if they did a jump in instead, then you'll only lose a little drive gauge and still defend. Kami's walk speed allows her to approach in and out of Sim's ranges and is capable of huge punishes versus whiff limbs. If she's looking to whiff punish, try baiting her reaction with a whiff button like crouch heavy punch and potentially get her to swing early. Lastly, your actions with neutral will be very limited when her level 3 is available, as any reaction to fireballs or whiffs will spell doom for Dalsum. Play safe, and try to bait her to spend level 3 on a wrong reaction. The whole stage to his back. Finally, let's look at some match examples and see everything we've discussed so far come into play. Here I begin the round with EX Yoga Arch. A risky play but pays off as I then land a slide into a confirm. Notice how I'm actively controlling space with float jump heavy kick and stand heavy kick to cut off any possibilities for jumps. Of what this character can do is pretty incredible to watch actually. Kami goes for a jump into delayed dive kick to draw off my anti-air timing and I get punished as a result. For a dollsome shimmy? Did we just see the same thing? A risky teleport but I'm rewarded with a conversion into EX Flame. I end the combo into sweep to maintain offense and corner her. Because Kami has level 3 available, I back off and play safely. Kami goes for a surprise EX Hooligan and regains momentum. This is okay as I have enough health to take a few throws. Here comes the, the strike throw mix up. I end the set by drilling the shimmy and getting a jab confirmed for the win. Unreal. Nareth. In this example, you'll see me use float a lot to control my space, and EX comments to bait jumps from Knuckle Dew. Notice the amount of actions I'm doing in neutral to make it difficult for Kami to get in. Come on, let's see how that's gonna work out. Yeah, we saw that earlier in the previous set with that. Narath? Not Nazareth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Narath of Nazareth? I shoot a ground fireball then teleport behind it to get in and start my offense. Oh, this counter, nice pickup. Pretty sure Dolls and Tinju. Yeah, yeah, my bad, y'all. My bad. <laughs> Name association is, uh, is one heck of a thing. Here's a reaction perfect parry versus dive kick coming into play. Because of the damage scaling, I opt to drain their resources with drive impact instead and reset neutral. Again, I control my space with float normals, but Kami gets a jump past my medium punch and now has momentum. But I go for drill over her throw and confirm off my jabs. The Narath classic. 
This final example again, I'm being very mobile and using float to make it difficult for her to get in on me. Nice back throw. I managed to move out of her jump in range and whiff punish. Still using the EX Comet to bait jumps and anti-air with medium punch. Because she's approaching her jump in range, I begin anticipating the dive kick and buffer my level 3. Oh, what? what? Reaction. Successful reaction. Incredible reaction there with the level 3. Now has a... I have the life lead, so I start playing passively. And like you mentioned before, Zero, Knuckle Dude has to figure out a way to thread the needle if we want to make this comeback. Unfortunately, I push myself into the corner, and Cammy once again gets a jump in, so now I'm at the mercy of her offense. Perfect spot to be delayed light punch. Does get a punish on the recovery of the parry there. And the walk up throw? My god. Very risky drive reversal. If she blocked, I would have lost the round. The fireball afterwards was dangerous too, as she could have punished with level 3. In the end, I shoot an EX Comet and land a jump medium punch for the win. Thank you guys for watching another Dalsum guide. Hopefully this improves your win rate versus Kami. The matchup is very difficult and will require sharp reactions and adaptations to succeed, but Dalsum is more than capable of outplaying her. If you guys have any Dalsum topics you wish to see in the future, leave a comment on the video. For now though, stay strong Yoga Brothers.